Hi everyone, uh, this is Ivy Muyano and welcome to Learn Languages and More with Ivy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to speak about how I learn the Korean language on my own and the title of this video is going to be how to learn the Korean language alone. When I want to speak the Korean language but I have to do it on my own then what I do is I read out loud and when I read out loud I record I record my voice as many times as possible and I do this because I want that when I read I want that um, I do not have that much mistakes when I finally do the final recording of my voice. So that's what I do. And then I make a video out of the recordings that I have done. Um, the reason why I do that is because of course first it's for my channel to have some videos uploaded and then the second reason is which is actually the major reason is because I want to practice um, uh, the Korean language that I am trying to learn and for me to be able to see the progress of the progress of what I am making in learning the Korean language. So here in my channel you can see I'm going to show you the playlist of the, the, the readings that I have read is right here Korean language reading and listening practice in this playlist. The first stories that I have read are from Korean folk tales they're a little bit difficult to read but um, it is worth it there are moral lessons from it and then recently I have been doing Aesop's fables uh, stories and they're very interesting so I use this book for me to do uh, the read the um, the voice recording as language learners, adult language learners. Um, I recommend to read um, these kinds of books, even if you are an, an intermediate uh, language learner. It is um, recommended by um, language experts that uh, when we learn languages we shouldn't go to the level where it is higher than our own level. It is much better for us to learn the language when it when for example we are in level four of the language but um, it is recommend that, recommended that it is more effective if we go down to um, a lower level. This is one way to avoid stress and this is one way to to enjoy language learning and to learn effectively. And during this um, I can speak out loud and uh, I can read Korean again and then after that I can even listen to my own voice. So the old videos that I have done was done maybe two years or a year ago and then sometimes I read it I mean I listen to it and when I listen to it I feel most of the time I feel awkward listening from it because I could recognize that I am not that fluent that I am not that speaking naturally that I sound I sounded like a robot or someone who's so um, not very fluent in the language so sometimes I get disappointed from listening to my voice listening to 
the reality of my <laughs> Korean level. Yeah, and it makes me sad or depressed sometimes. But then, after some time, I, like a year has passed or a few months later, I do a new video for that playlist or for my channel. And then I compare the voice that I have done recently and compare and with the, the the, done, the videos that I have done in the past and I could hear that my voice have changed and my pronunciation have changed and I feel that somehow it has improved. So it gives me the courage to do the voice recording more and it also encourages me and motivates me to learn more because I have seen the progress that I have been making slowly and quietly the improvement just uh, comes out naturally and so I don't get sad anymore and it gives me confidence to continue with what I'm doing. So that is how I learn to speak the Korean language on my own, to practice Korean language in, on my own and to study the Korean language on my own. So uh, this is the video that I have done recently. 소녀는 큰 소리로 외쳤다. 늑대야, 늑대, 늑대가 이 양을 젖고 있어. 마을 사람들은 소녀를 도와 늑대를 몰아내려고 헐레벌떡 뛰어왔다. Yeah, and by the way, when I listen to the videos and after doing the video and sometimes when I just sit on the sofa and listen to the videos I've, I've done and then um, I would hear uh, certain words which I forgot or uh, don't know the meaning and then I just, you know, for example, for example, Mora Neriogo, Mora Neriota, Nerida, Grigo, Holle Balto. So these words are not commonly, I don't commonly use them. So, so out of the blue, Holle Balto, out of the blue, out of the blue, okay, out of the blue. It means holle baltok, holle baltok, out of the blue, holle baltok, out of the blue, and mora neri go, mora neri nerida, mora nerida, ah mora neda, to remove or eliminate or eradicate. That's the meaning. Smoke out peace from Malayan Giru. And Momoneryoda, it is a Korean grammar that we all should know. It means that you are going to. So that, that is the meaning. Going to. Moraneryogo. Mohalyogo. Okay. Moraneda is to drive out, expel. So that's it. So uh, that's how I check, that's how I review and remember the words, new words or old words that I, um, that I want to be familiar with. So this is how I read at the moment, now. And then this is how I read before. Akimopsi 
열매를 따먹기도 하였어요. 또 술래 잡기도 하고 나무 그늘에서 낮잠도 잤지요. 소녀는 나무를 사랑하였고 나... Yeah, I don't have... <laughs> Sounds very strange, I know. And I hope you also notice, but for uh, native speakers, I think, uh, and for language learners, they would understand, you would understand that there is this big difference. And this one was, um, I don't know exactly when it was done, but it was uploaded in on June 28th, 2019, so it's almost two years ago. So that's the change, uh, the, how I read. And yeah, so this is how I study on my own. And I hope you apply this one as well because it is very effective and most language learners use this one as well. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching my videos and I hope you like, share and subscribe to my channel as well. Bye.